job opportunity pays up to $130,000 a year. And I'm going to show you how to get this job. I will do the job description review. I will teach you how to do the interview. I will teach you how to get the job. And I will also show you a resume template that you can use to get this job. It does not matter where you are or what you do because this job is 100% remote and it pays again up to $130,000. So I'm going to be showing you the secret that you need and the approach on how you can apply, how you can nail the interview and how you can prepare your resume to have them looking for you. Let's dive straight in. This job is IT security governance, risk and compliance analyst. It's a remote role, which is the most important thing that I do talk about. So the first thing is it's remote. That's number one. Number two, this job pays up to $130,000. Okay, so let's take a look at the overview and we'll also take a look at the responsibilities and the qualifications. So first thing first, IT governance, risk, um, and compliance analyst. Um, the overview, as a critical part of uh, this company's information security team, the governance, risk, and compliance uh, supports IT compliance and digital um, governance activities across the business. This role has a high degree of direct impact, including, so now these are your major uh, responsibility, designing, coordinating, and driving successful control implementation. So successful control implementation will be majorly some of the things that you're going to be responsible for. And ongoing audit activities across business. Okay. Also, uh, the analysts embed across discrete business units to ensure compliance objectives are met throughout the process. So basically what this is saying is you're going to make sure that there's compliance, you know, um, in the uh, company. The ideal candidate will possess both a broad control framework understanding and the technical acumen to enable and an approach in guiding security best practices. So basically what they're saying is you must be able to understand security best practices and guide the necessary team on what to do and how to do them. Okay. So like I said, this is nothing like very technical that you cannot do. Starting base is about up to 130K. Um, so la, that's that's that. So this role will also be eligible for bonus and benefit. So you get bonus and benefit in this role. That's very very good. Um. Now let's look at the responsibilities. Conduct compliance assessment of controls for in scope systems. This is basically um you want to um conduct compliance assessment. You want to see the controls that are in scope. How are they in compliance, right? Uh, do they have the controls in place to be able to ensure that they are in compliance? And another thing is remediation. Remediation assessment, audit readiness. Audit readiness means that when auditors come for audit, they want to be sure that they are ready for audit. So you're going to help them with their audit readiness. Lead uh, SSA E18 and SOC audit. This is something that is also very easy. It's just about collecting evidence, partner with technical teams, advising both um, on applicable control requirements, potential solutions to address them. So basically, if you take a look at this, like I used to tell you, if you take a look at this entire responsibility, what are they actually looking for? Conduct compliance, lead SOC 2, partner with technical team, drive remediation, support evidence collection, develop and manage internal control. So what that really means is that you're going to be a compliance person that is leading audit, all right? And you will also identify any deficiency in either their compliance or control or, or policy. And when you do that, you're also going to help them to drive remediation. Remediation simply means that you're going to help them correct that. And after that, um, you support evidence collection and then develop and manage internal GRC initiative. So you can see that this is a very simple task. It's something that you can do. And this, this job is paying very well, up to $130,000.
bachelor's degree. Let's look at the qualifications. Bachelor's degree required. This doesn't mean that you have to be a computer science graduate. Bachelor's degree is required, but in any discipline, in any field, okay? Demonstrated FedRAMP ready ATO. Like I used to tell you, if you haven't done this before, Google it. Watch it on YouTube. What is FedRAMP? What do they do? Once you've done that, then you can tell confidently that you have done it. You have worked there before. Okay. That's basically what that means. All right. Uh, SOC 2, NIST 800. These are all control frameworks. Okay. And they're saying that they require at least two years in security with demonstrated accomplishments in assessment and controls. Basically, they're saying you must have done assessment and controls before. And these are things that it's all embedded in GRC. Okay. Um, yeah, basically, that is what they're asking for. And then you read about the company. And also, uh, here, like I used to say, make sure you read the overview, understand each of them very, very importantly. And also, you must also understand that you take this responsibility seriously, read about them, learn them. Now, let's take a look at the company. This is the company itself. Before you go for the interview, after applying, before you go for the interview, make sure you read about them. Read about us of the company. Read about what they do. Okay, this is who we are. Read about them, who we serve. Make sure you understand. And then now think about how your role helps this company. The role that you're applying for, how does it help them? Now let's take a look at the resume. This is the resume that is going to get you a, a foot on the door for you to be able to do interview. So you can take a post of this and watch it or click the link below to find the link that will lead you to this resume. And then you can take advantage and apply for the job. So that is basically what it is about. Apply for it. Let me know in the comment section how this has been helpful. And if you apply and you get the job, let me know. All right, guys, I'm going to see you again tomorrow with another exciting job opportunity.